found your... This new world suits you well. You look... strong. What is it you want? To love you. To be there for you as a mother should. Love. That word must burn your lips. Burn? <laughs> you have no idea. It is the only thing that fuels me. Everything I have done, everything I do, everything I will do is for you, child. Always for you. Can you honestly say the same about Sarah? Surrounding you with heroes who will gladly return you to your grave after you've exceeded your use. Wait! Not this again! Poor child. How did you end up so alone? Another dream. This cannot be a coincidence. I've been told Stark Enterprises can be a toxic workplace. Fighting. Blade, can we speak in private? Is it about the chore wheel? Because I'm not swapping. No, it is not about that. Good. Everyone knows how I feel about dish duty. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. No. Hell no. I thought you were close with magic. I am. That's why I won't do it. I told Nico and I'll tell you. Magic skims the last chapter of a mystery before starting the book. The woman does not like surprises. Do you know why she dislikes surprises? Does she need a reason? That's how she is. Is there anyone else who could help prep for the party? Outside the Midnight Suns? That Parker kid has way too much energy. May as well put it to good use. Thanks, Blade. For what? Kid's annoying. You'd be doing me a favor by keeping him off my back. Do half vampires need sunblock? Can your fangs drain a cream-filled cake? If we bite each other, would we have the same powers? It just... it never ends. The Sanctorum can be a tricky piece of property to manage. I guess I could show you a couple of things. Good stuff. Simulation. 
Ready to work? You are going to love this. What have you got for me, boss? These should definitely give you an edge. I'm pretty sure Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. Third state of matter, indeed. a pleasure. Practice keeps the rotator cuffs limber. Hey, Hunter. Got a minute to talk? Do you have time to speak in private? Are you firing me? Am I getting fired? No. Why would you ask that? I don't know. I panicked. Uh, sure. Let's talk. Nico needs help prepping for Magic Surprise Party. Really? She asked for me? Her hands are full, so I am delegating. Sure. I'm the new guy. I get it. How can I pitch in? She needs help decorating the party room. I can tape balloons to the ceiling while standing on it. I am so in! Sup, Ancient One? I am amazed at how you do not let things bother you. It's all blood, sweat, and tears. Mostly blood. Hunter? How goes it, Hunter? Or is it THE Hunter? We need to talk. Yes? Nothing. Never mind. Okay... What is on your mind, Robbie? Fear, anxiety, doubt, you know, a bunch of feel-good thoughts and feelings about where this team is headed. Why is that? Wanda is... gone. And all calls to Banner are going straight to voicemail. Everyone's on edge about it, and that puts me on edge, you know? Try not to worry too much, Robbie. It's kinda hard not to. Worrying is like Sparky's full-time job. You know, I can't help thinking. The Avengers are so preoccupied with reaching Banner. But I bet no one would notice if I, like, took off and joined Hydra or just, I don't know, disappeared. Robbie, tell me you are not thinking of leaving. Me? Take off? Never. The Midnight Suns are fam, and I'm not gonna abandon them. Good. You had me worried there for a moment. It's just... 
I feel more like a backseat rider than a ghost rider sometimes. You know, invisible. But are ghosts not invisible to most people, Robbie? Maybe this one doesn't want to be. Uh, well, I guess I should go find Peter. See if he wants to chill. Might take my mind off things, you know? That is a good idea. See you around. I realize this isn't a formal military organization like Hydra, but when it comes to the recent behavior of Nico and Magic, the word insubordination comes to mind. Wanda is their friend. I'd be more concerned if they weren't unhappy with the situation. Then you agree with them? With their approach? I might have done the same. Like you said, this isn't the military. You can give orders, but at the end of the day, we're all going along with you. We need to talk. Yes? Nothing. Never mind. Okay. Whoa! Thought you were a ghost for a second. Uh, hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Hey, uh, can I ask a favor? No demons to report here. I need to get out there and crack some skulls, Hunter. If you got a minute, Hunter, I'd like to check in. I trust your analysis of that gamma bullet is going smoothly. It's going, but I'm not. Oh? I was this close to getting Faustus to spill his guts. This close. Then friggin' poof! Crossbones turns his ass to ash with his magic bullet. Our forces are strained enough trying to keep up with Hydra. We could have used his intel. We will prevail without whatever Hydra secrets Faustus had tucked away in his head. Well, we don't really have a choice now, do we? God, I would have loved to have had the chance to interrogate that bastard. I had been waiting so long to get some one-on-one -on -one skull pounding time with him. God, what a waste. Speaking of crushing Hydra skulls, I'm pretty sure Caretaker is waiting for you at the table with another mission. Let me know if you want me to join on whatever errand she sends you on. I could use some demon pounding time, or at least some of the pent-up aggression I was saving for Faustus. I will let you know, Captain. Carol. Call me Carol. Especially one like Caretaker. I'm not sure how to take that, but I hear what you're saying, Blade. Good, because I'm not about to play drill sergeant around here.
as if the people of New York didn't have enough problems, scattered reports of Hydra activity are coming in from across the five boroughs. We'll head to the highest concentration first and take it from there. Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. It is as good as done. yours. Badge this. They move to the shadows. Only add to your penance. Pathetic. Regroup and await reinforcements. Cowards until the end. You're stronger already. They cannot possibly match your strength. Many before you have tried and failed. It is good to be back. Let's go! 
sins they were guilty of to deserve that. Sure, I can keep this up. Weak, even for Hydra. Seems like two more appear in their place. Patience. Hydra certainly lives up to their name. I've hunted an actual Hydra. That was easier. Easier than this? I live up to my name, too. Hell of a price, Crossbones, put on your head. Runt. Too bad he never said it had to stay attached to your body. Well, too bad for you. Big words. For a dead man. You got one thing right today, Sabretooth. Heads are definitely about to roll. Oh, look. Another mangy stray. Wrong. Compared to him? Good point. Now I get to kill two runts with one claw. <clears throat> Maybe I should be paying Hydra. Down before he can hurt anyone else. Who you calling an animal, lady? Check your ears, Creed. She didn't stutter. <laughs> we'll settle up later. Should do the trick. Gotta get my bearings here. running some kind of experiment on your face? I think he botched it. You can be my sidekick anytime.
stop me. Get on the ugly one. Night, night. on our side. This shall be of great help. I will not let you down. This one has the stink of death on it. The past the suffering of innocent victims. It's not the first time. to get on my bad side. Which me coming in. Which one of you is the healer? Oh, the light's gift. Welcome assistance. the job done. better than that. I will hold the line. Wolverine may be terse, but at least he is not a cold-blooded killer. Just what I need. Mercy for the serpents.
time has come. Was that truly your best? I don't think he was expecting that thing around your neck to bite back. Can he heal from that too? Don't know. But I'm gonna make sure he doesn't. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. It sounds like you had some unexpected visitors out there. Those two beasts came out of nowhere. Who were they? Victor Creed and James Logan Howlett. But I'm sure they'd prefer to go by their current aliases. Sabretooth and Wolverine. Those two have been at each other's throats for decades. Wolverine? Then he is a werewolf? I did not sense that from either of them. Because they are mutants. Like me. You are like them? I will not be howling at the moon anytime soon, Hunter. It affects us all in different ways. There are some things you'll need to become familiar with in our post-atomic world, Hunter. Mutants being a big part of that. A blessing or a curse in the blood, depending on who you ask. I can explain further if you must know. In the meantime, I need to look into what's happening in New York. Wolverine is an honorable man, if a bit rough around the edges. Sabretooth, on the other hand, is a homicidal maniac. The fact that he's got his sights set on you is definitely not good news. Wait, you know Logan? Who do you think first told me about you? You'd be surprised how many people have found their way into these woods over the years. And once they do, they tend to find a way back. I doubt this is the last we have seen of either of them. Wonderful. Logan and I are not exactly best friends or anything. He's more my brother, Piotr's friend. Like I said earlier, we're all mutants. Not to freak you out or anything.
You say mutant as if it is a bad thing. In some parts of the world, it is a very bad thing. You've been sleeping in the grave, so you've missed out on the anti-mutant hysteria. The Mutant Registration Act, all that crap. So it is safe to say that things in the modern world are not easy for your kind. That's an understatement. So you and these other mutants, you all know each other from Russia? Hardly. We're all part of the X-Men. I mean, pff, not currently. But I guess once you're an X-Man, you're always an X-Man. Just like a midnight sun. Hmm, I guess so. And this Sabretooth, he is a mutant. Does that make him an X-Man as well? Definitely not an X-Man. He and Wolverine go way back. Who knows what their feud was originally about. I doubt they can remember either. He has been tracking us for a bit. He was the presence I sensed at the docks. Are you sure it was him and not... something else? Yes, I am sure. Yeah, he's a tough psychopath to forget. He's nasty. And I don't just mean his smell. Okay, thanks, bye. Having Sabretooth wrapped up in all of this is another headache we don't need. I can only hope Logan handles him swiftly, before he causes too much trouble. How much do you trust this Logan person? Quite a bit, actually. He's a bit prickly, but he's dependable. Exactly how dependable? I would trust Logan with my life. The same as you. That is quite a bit of trust. I am surprised you have never spoken of him before. Logan is a good man, but he follows his own path. After this, I may not see him again for several more decades. I suppose there is nothing more to do but wait. I have a feeling we will be seeing more of Logan and Sabretooth. Oh, I'd count on it. Hi, hi, Hunter. Emo kids are meeting tonight. You in? Lead the way. And the emo kids are back for another deep dive into the night of your death. When can we start? Soon. Strange asked to lead tonight's meeting. He's prepping the... Ugh, I, I don't know what exactly. It involves a lot of weird math. While he's preparing his, um, th theorems, I guess? You should talk to Magic. She'll explain how we use ingredients. You received my message, yes? About the ingredients? Yes, but I came up short. This is fine. I also hate scavenging. Remember, ingredients make mystical trinkets. Excess trinkets go to you. I will provide a new list for the next meeting. Check your spark tomorrow. <sighs> Enough about ingredients. I said more words than strange. Has he prepared yet? I have plans for after. What plans? Solitary plans. All my preparations are complete. And now for a thorough explanation of this week's delicate divinations. However, Miss Minoru insisted I provide a summary, if you request it. Summarize, please. We do the same as before, but this time we zap you with more mystical power. That is it? <sighs> That's it. Shall we begin? Go ahead. Where do your memories last leave off? I was running through the Abbey grounds. Good. Now, 
focus. And now, wake your mind from slumber. I burst into the clearing, expecting an army. Instead, I find... her. She sits at the center of a muddy circle. For a moment, I wonder if she sleeps. Tell us, Hunter. Tell us who you see. I see the mother of demons. Herald of the Manifold Dream. She who tends what dwells beneath. I see Lilith. I see... I, I see my... Ugh! What's happening here? What, you... you got a spidey sense, too? I was taking a walk. I heard the chanting. Crap. I messed up the binding formula. As I most definitely told you, lemon scented is no replacement for actual lemon. What exactly is going on? The Hunter's resurrection, though miraculous, was incomplete. We're attempting to restore a rather crucial set of memories. How Hunter killed Lilith the first time. You're not mad, are you? I'm not mad, but next time you do this, I'd like to observe. Of course! Next time. We should have invited her. Quiet, you. You are definitely making progress. How are you feeling? I am fine. About Caretaker? Uh, we never invited her because it seemed cruel to make her relive your death. I would have preferred to spare her the details, but now she knows. You're right. If we can't figure out how you defeated Lilith the first time, there's little chance it could happen again. I'll speak with her before the next meeting, smooth things over. And with that, we're done for the day. You leaving? That is it for me. Sounds good. See you next meeting. Worst part about that Hydra job? Manhattan trap. Awesome! Thanks, Hunter. Hunter. Blade, what is it? Caught a scent around the Abbey that doesn't belong. It's faint. Not enough for anyone else to notice, but it hit me again tonight. How's that dog of yours when it comes to tracking? You two up for a little hunt? I am sure Charlie could help, and I might be useful too. You can start right now. This gate won't budge for me, but maybe you can open it. You sure that dog knows where she's going? No, but I trust her. At least you're honest. Charlie will be the first to let us know if she cannot find the way. I'm guessing you don't carry around a lot of keys. You two have a lot of conversations. I can tell you never had a dog before, Blade. Never got the chance as a kid. Too risky these days in my line of work. Maybe you just need to find the right dog. Haven't found a breed yet. The bantries need out of spite. Oh, I see what you mean. That looked like some kind of jacked up shadow hound. 
If I didn't know any better, I'd say we just found the bar guest. But it can't be. The what? The bar guest. Legendary demon dog of the old country. Kind of thing you'd hear stories about around the campfire. A shadow hound could easily be mistaken for a spirit, but how would it have gotten here? Good question, but we're not gonna find the answer tonight. Let's head back before Caretaker locks the doors on us. I'm no expert, but that's a portal. Looks like magic's... We should head back. Don't want... You come. I have seen Caretaker mad. Me too. We need to talk. Yes? We should speak in private. Just what I need. Intrigue. Lead the way. Nico is planning to throw you a surprise birthday party. And why do you tell me this? I heard you hate surprises. I figured you would want to know. Hmm. Thank you for revealing this to me. Did she say how many people? Just the Midnight Suns. Also Spider-Man. Small crowd. Hmm. What now? What else? I survived the party. Hunter, if you're receiving this message, please come to the central console as soon as possible. That's... odd. Dr. Banner, you've re-emerged. I'm sorry, Hunter. Probably not the best impression of me. Uh, but now I'm back. And we are happy to have you back, Doctor. We were worried for a brief moment. Thank you for your concern, but I'm fine. Doing better than our comm system was. I was knocked offline by a spike in gamma radiation that tore through the electromagnetic spectrum. Bad day to be a Manhattan cell phone tower. But don't worry, I've isolated the problem here. No more blackouts, I promise. But I am concerned about the other ripple effects this gamma radiation could have caused. That's why I would like to scan you and see if the shifts in energy have affected you. Anything, if you think it will help your research. Immensely. It's quite possible it can give us a clue on how to counter this gamma shift. Just stand very still. You shouldn't feel a thing. <laughs> And we're done. Once I analyze this scan, we'll all be much wiser. Thank you, Hunter.
Who did you want me to meet? Hunter of the Abbey, may I formally introduce you to the Hellride. I always like to show her to all my friends and just realize that we've been so busy beating back your mom's forces, I haven't had a chance to give you an up-close look at her. Gorgeous, right? Even without the extra hell sauce, she's a beast. Stunning, Robbie. I can see you have put quite a bit of care into it. Hey, I take pride in my ride. Been working on cars and bikes since my days in East LA. At first, no one took me seriously. I had to fight for every inch of credit I could get. But I don't seem to have to fight so hard when it comes to you. I don't know if you've noticed, but the others kind of... overlook me. Sometimes, I feel more like... invisible by day, rattling chains by night. Know what I mean? You are not a ghost to me, Robbie. Maybe not. But I have a feeling the two of us are gonna haunt the armies of Lilith anyway. Our Avengers house guests are hogging the comms channel. <sighs> Look at that map. We've got emergencies all over the globe. Hydra is staying true to its multi-headed namesake. They are currently active in New York, Paris, Moscow, Singapore, Los Angeles. The list keeps growing. They caught us off guard. We'll put them back in check. With what, Tony? Avenger forces are spread thin as it is. Temporarily. We're back in contact with Banner and we still have the tower. And that's supposed to make us feel better? We thought we had the Sanctum until we didn't. Well, I'm sorry, Stephen, but your overrated metaphysical library is not my state-of-the-art militarized tower. It will hold. Hold what? Your ego? You'll need a taller tower. Oh, coming from the man who literally calls himself Supreme. Are you too finished yet? Every second we waste arguing, Hydra takes another bite out of yeah, our ass. Fine. Then let's stop arguing and take a bite out of their ass. Yeah, Let's just stop arguing. Well, one day Strange will fix- Could we speak in private? Will this lead to the two of us shouting at one another? I cannot see how. Then, yes. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. A surprise party? Have you met magic? Why do you say that? Oh, just a feeling. What does Nico want from me? Can you handle the cake? Of course. The trick will be hiding the icing. Magic Sweet Tooth can lead her to cupcakes at 50 paces. Oh, you are gonna love this. See you, Hunter. Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. Don't blink or you'll miss it. How's that for quality workmanship?
I hope Caretaker appreciates all the improvements we're making. Now we can really get down to work. Even a sorcerer supreme can't rest on his laurels. Think Doctor Strange knows Merlin? I'm still waiting. Practice makes perfect. I wonder if Hydra sits around arguing like this. That was quite a heated discussion between you, Caretaker, and the Doctor. What can I say? I will always fight to keep the faith. Hydra may be on the rise, but they will never rise above the tower. Do not let your arrogance lead you to underestimate Lilith. There is no fight my mother cannot rise to. Whose side are you on, Hunter? Your side. Well, you're starting to sound like a Hydra press secretary. I do not work for you, Tony. I am not here to make you feel better about your building. Uh, if this is your idea of an inspirational speech, I think we should have Captain America give you some pointers. Well, at least we managed to reconnect with Banner. So that's... something. I wasn't so worried about the tower as I was about his mental health. And if he's holding up, so will the rest of us. Heads up, Hunter. You look so free up there in the sky. That's good to hear. Thank you. We could all conduct ourselves in a calm, professional manner. Unfortunately, Tony really gets under my skin sometimes. I could see that. I mean, the nerve of him to say that the Sanctum is inferior to Titanium Tower of Tony? Can you believe it? If we expect to have a chance against Lilith, we need both the Tower and the Sanctum. Everything we can get our hands on. Yes, yes, I... suppose I am glad you are keeping a level head about all this. Still, it would be nice if Tony displayed some of your understanding... just once. How bad is your disagreement with Tony? Is it going to cause problems for the rest of us? Don't worry, Tony and I may argue, but when it comes to stopping Lilith, we are in total agreement on the end goal. Even if we disagree on the way to achieve it. Sometimes, Tony and I do actually act like grown-ups. Well, at least I do. Have an unusual day. Friendo. 
All this excitement has really got me thinking about forming a team of... I never wanted to lead the Midnight Suns, but someone needs to keep our focus on what matters. I'll keep doing it as long as it's needed.